another one of these. Except this woman didn't wait until it was too late, I guess. The chilling warning every single woman needs to hear. Don't wait until it's too late. Yet another one of these stories when an older woman is trying to warn younger women. Hey, you might think you can have it all, but you can't. The longer you wait, the more you're going to have to lower your standards if you want uh, any guy at all. So you, you better fix yourself quick. And you know the reaction from all these women, right? Whatever, Grandma, you know what you're talking about. You just jealous because you don't have a hot body like me anymore. Oh, you just jealous because nobody wants you, Grandma. In a few years, they'll be writing these same articles and getting the same reception. Except this time, like I don't think this woman is too old. She's definitely post-wall, but it, it, it's not like she waited too long. I, I, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. The, the leading sex expert has revealed reasons for high-achieving straight women struggle to find love and, and issued a chilling warning to career-focused women. Yeah, it, it's called reality. Have you seen it? No, Tracy Cox uh, said, really? Sex experts named Cox? Is that her professional name? Or is that just a funny coincidence? Now, it's said that there are more successful, high-achieving women than ever before, and they need to be less rigid in their choices if they uh, put off finding a partner until their 30s. Yes, because I, I don't know if this woman's going to go into it too, but I, I my point to these women is the the caliber of man that you are going for has his pick of any woman he wants. And he has access to way higher caliber women than you. He is, look, you refuse to settle for anyone but the best, right? Why would he settle for anyone but the best? You are far from the best for him. The types of guys you're going for can do way better than you. Until you lower your standards to the level of guys like who like, you're the best they can do too. You're going to be alone and miserable. And the relationship coach added that by the time many career focused women reach a time when they are ready to settle down, most of the quote unquote good men are taken. And I bet a, a lot of them were rejected by these women too. I can pretty much guarantee you that. And there are more and more single women now because more and more women are high achieving. So they, uh, they're not looking, uh, they, they're not like looking for a husband straight away. Big mistake. When you come out of university, you got this numbers game, loads of women single, loads of men single, and so you all uh, sort of hook up, she told uh, the Diary of a CEO podcast. Now, an another thing along this line, and this has been discussed in men's circles for years, women have the prime of their life is early. They, they got all the good stuff front loaded, and then it's just a steady decline as they get older. For men, it's the opposite. Like men are treated way worse early on, but as we build up our resources, things get better for us. And eventually we have what's called the death cross as the, those two intersect, and that's when things get fun. Now, if your motivation is to get married and have kids, and that's your only motivation, then you're going to find a partner early and job done, you're sorted. Yeah, and then like depending on how early you do it, like, say you you start having kids at 20. There, there'll be teenagers when you're like, you know, 32. You, that's plenty of time for you to get a career if you really want to. But if your motivation isn't that, if you want to get to university, get your career sorted, then turn around and have kids at 30, suddenly you're looking for someone and he's not there. He's already been taken up by someone else. Yes, the guy that you're looking for that super high spec guy who who meets the bare minimum of your standards, he already found someone better than you and put a ring on it. Not like that matters in current year anyway, but I know it matters to women, so you got to bring it up. And men traditionally don't like dating high achieving women unless they're high achieving themselves, and if they are high achieving themselves, they could get better women. And th th this is true. I think a better bachelor covered this. You cannot have two alphas in the same house. Like, they'll just keep fighting. 
So th these so-called high achieving women, they say, oh, men are just intimidated by how strong and successful I am. And, and men are like, you know, OK, I already have the alpha attitude. I don't want to live with another alpha that I'll constantly be fighting with over everything. Like, sorry. That's the main reason that men don't even give the time of day to these so-called high-achieving women. Nobody's intimidated by you. Don't flatter yourselves, women. There is no intimidation there. It's just guys don't have the time or the patience. Like, and After a long day's work, the last thing a guy wants is to go home and have a fight with a woman who thinks she's a man. Guys are going for the women that meet their standards. Instead of worrying about uh, like none of the available guys meeting your standards, how about you look in the mirror and think, like, do I meet the standards of any of these guys I'm looking for? Because I see a lot of entitlement. I see a lot of these women feeling that they they that they're zeros and yet they feel entitled to tens. Yeah, intimidated, no. Annoyed, most definitely. Exactly. Like, do you consider it intimidation to not want to hang out with someone who irritates you? Like, no, that, that's not intimidation. You need to learn what that means. No, Tracy said that the number of high-achieving women is getting higher, but the number of high-achieving men is getting lower, so there's less of a pool to choose from straight women looking to settle down in their 30s and 40s. Yes, and, and once again, let, let me bring this up again. Not only is the pool of high-achieving men getting smaller, but a large chunk of them are fine with, like, 18-year-old Applebee's waitresses. <laughs> they, they don't need your 40-year-old CEO ass. What do you bring to the table they don't already have? That's, that's the biggest mistake women made when they tried to become men, basically. Oh, I bring to the table all these things men offer, and the men are like, but I already have them. I already have all those things. I don't need more. I'm, I'm the only reason I'm looking for a relationship is for the things I don't already have. Can you offer me anything? I'm not taking care of myself already. No, then we're done. The 18 year old Applebee's waitress will for sure. Uh, high achieving women's like to go for high achieving men. Well, you're, you're not going to be able to men have never had this problem throughout all of human history. When women were, were quote-unquote, oppressed by the patriarchy, when women couldn't be high-achieving, men had no problem getting with women that were was dating down. They were way below their station. You have billionaires. Get, getting with uh, strippers and waitresses. And th that's just normal. In, in fact, a, a lot of these younger women, sometimes th they viewed that as like their meal ticket. Oh, if I, my poor average ass, if I could hook some rich man, that's going to be my ticket out of poverty. And a lot of them were able to do that. Why can't women do the same? When men were, were the majority of the high achievers, notice that there, were, there was no shortage of, of uh, eligible men. The men weren't, at the same time, the men weren't complaining about a shortage of eligible women. Hmm. Now that women are going to make the majority of high achievers as they make the, the professional life hell for men and men start checking out, the men are just going to stop pursuing women. You know, they're, they're the type of men that would be the high achievers they these women would want are deciding that they could live just fine, uh, just working as a cashier or something and paying for their hobbies. Women are going to have to adjust their expectations. They got themselves stuck between a rock and a hard place at this point. On the one hand, they're complaining that... Uh, that, that, that there's no men more successful than them for them to marry. On the other hand, if men are more successful than them, they complain that they're being oppressed and they demand that those men be dragged down. There's no way to win with these psychos. So the best solution, it's, it's the same as when you're dealing with any psycho that can't accept reality. Just ignore them. 
Let them scream into the void and just live your life. And so the answer is for Wham is to look outside the box, look for a man without a degree. Yeah, like, why don't you go for like the electrician that's making six well into the six figures? Oh, but he went to a trade school. That's dirty. You have to change your wish list a bit, not be as rigid. Think about things like kindness, generosity, a sense of humor rather than what he's earning. Basically, stop being such a materialistic hoe. Yeah. General chemistry and attractiveness is enough. You end up happier. And all these younger women are, t- are probably going to be telling this woman that she doesn't know what she's talking about until they hit that age and realize, May- maybe I should have listened. And the sex expert added that the biggest lie women are told is that they can have it all. Thank you. I'm glad that it's another woman saying this too. They're starting to wake up. They're finally starting to wake up. Now, these high achievers have compromised their chances of finding a partner by putting it all into their career. You you, know, you can't have it all. It, I, I did videos years ago when I basically point out if, if you're if you want to have both a family and a job, women are doing it in the in the opposite direction. They're doing it in the, the wrong order. You have to have the family first, then you focus on the job. But if you do it in the wrong order, you're, you're going to end up with a job you hate and no family. And she added that not being able to find a partner has nothing to do with you and doesn't mean you're not attractive. Okay, now, now, now to be fair, after all the based things she said, she realizes that her clients are primarily women. So she has to appeal to their ego a little bit. So you're probably less marketable because you're too intelligent and some men would be freaked out that you're too successful, she went on. Yeah, that's a blatant lie. No man is intimidated by an intelligent woman. Now, Tracy's passionate speech appeared to uh, divide her followers. Uh, m- many believe women shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't, believing women shouldn't striving for more. Yeah, it's written that way. I'm sorry. I didn't just trip over my tongue there. The high achieving women's are protecting uh, their peace and not trying to sign up to take care of someone. The point is they'd prefer to be single and enjoy life uh, than be less rigid with their standards. Uh, we actually uh, don't need to ask women to change something about what they're doing. It, it, it isn't their responsibility. One woman wrote. And, and you know what? That's fair. If you are legitimately happy the way you are, you don't have to change for anybody. But if I see this woman complaining that men have to change to meet her standards, that's proof that she's not happy with where she is. She she missed the boat and she's miserable. And this is great, too. Oh, we're not trying to sign up to take care of someone. So if if a woman that earns, say, 300,000 a year gets with a man that earns only 100,000, She's signing up to take care of him in, in her eyes. That that's These are the same women that tell men to not be materialistic, that love is all that matters when they're trying to hook a rich man. These same women refuse to date men that are not as well off as them. They're like, oh, I'm, I want an equal, not someone I'm going to have to take care of. Men, you need to start doing this too refuse to date women that 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 don't that that aren't uh, making the same amount of money as you and, and then just give them that same reason like i'm not looking to take care of someone and, and th- this would work so well against single mothers too when single mothers are mad that you don't don't even consider dating them throw their own talking points back at them uh, i'm not looking for someone to take care of like sorry no, being a high achieving women's doesn't have to come with a price tag. No women should need to lower your standards for the sake of being married and having children at a certain age. Agreed another. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. And and again, I agree. If you're okay being single, by all means, continue with that attitude. But if you think you're entitled to a man who could do way better than you, you're not going to be happy <laughs> with your life. Not even a little bit. So others blamed men for not being good enough for strong whammons. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Keep blaming men. Yeah. See where that gets you at the end. Y- you will be single and enjoying life with your 10 cats. While the men you shit on are actually enjoying their single lives with without a nagging harpy over their shoulder. And never pay full price for expired goods. That is some good advice right there.
It's not because we're not looking for husbands. It's because uh, this country and most of the people in it are broken. Men, for some reason, don't put in the work you need to heal themselves. Women often will, one woman said. Oh, so by a, by a strange coincidence, men can be passport bros. Men can go out and go to almost any other country in the world and have no problems getting women. American women, on the other hand... If they go to some foreign country, the only kind of men they can ever get are men that are just using them to get a passport. Well, and to be fair, a lot of women do that too. So you got to be very careful. Like, remember that story we covered about that woman in Russia who, who was mad because she couldn't get a date because Russian men weren't willing to put up with Western feminazi bullshit? Like, that's how, that's how Western women are treated overseas. And let's stop calling women's high achieving, call it what it is. Too many men are doing the bare minimum. Let's stop putting it on women, one woman slammed. Yeah. The, those evil men not living up to our standards. Yeah, we, we shouldn't have to live up to their standards. <laughs> keep, keep telling yourselves that. Yeah, men weighed in on the debate as well. Men who don't have insecurity complexes, there are plenty, are not intimidated by anyone, especially women. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking thank you. Like Rojigami said earlier, no intimidation. It's just being annoyed. We are just not attracted to women who value superficial corporate status over love, loyalty, family, and romance. I'm sure someone will come along and still try to force me into the insecurity box, but worry not, uh, but, but worry not going to work. Uh, we want women who will respect and cherish us in the beginning, not those who just wait at the finish line and try to jump into our arms, uh, the arms of the winners, one man said. Oh, my God. That is a good way of putting it. And then, of course, uh, like, don't forget that those women were also running the race alongside you. So they weren't. Yeah, so they're all worn out as well. <laughs> so another man said he would be thrilled to be with a uh, a work focused women's. Honestly, if someone wants to make me a house husband and I can cook, clean and tend to the garden, I'd, I'll be stoked. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty much my attitude, too. Yeah. You want to be my sugar mama? Hey, let's meet up. But uh, guess what? You're not the type of man those women are looking for. If they make 300000 a year, you need to make at least 600000 a year. Like that, that one woman said, oh, I'm not looking to sign on to take care of someone. All right. So you're going to have your wish. So the type of men who'd be fine with you, like this guy, you're going to ignore. The type of men you want are more than happy with like 18, 19, 20 year olds. <laughs> They're not going to look at your fucking, was it 40, 50 year old ass? Yeah, and that's why they attack Leonardo DiCaprio so much. Leonardo DiCaprio is like, what, in his 50s now? He's got no problems getting 18 year olds. Now they're trying to brand him a pedophile because you got all these 50 year old women jealous that he's not paying attention to them. Like, why the hell would he pay attention to you when he can do way better? Yeah, they, they, they and, and shoot, it's not just women, too. You got all these trad cuck alleged men who are trapped in these marriages with these 50 year old harpies. They get browbeat into joining the attacks on him. They, well, I can't have a hot 18 year old wife, so, so he shouldn't be allowed to have one either. It's not fair. I'm stuck with a 50-year-old Triglypuff Harpy. Why does he get to have the 18-year-old models? It's not fair. <laughs> that's, that's all I hear when I hear these so-called men trying to call DiCaprio a pedophile for dating fully adult women. Yeah, that's that's all it is. It's it's just, yeah, seething trad cucks. That's it. It's it's all jealousy. They can't get the hot 18-year-olds, so no one else should be able to either. <laughs>